U.S. House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi's possible visit to Taiwan has further strained U.S.-China relations. The two nations have been engaged in a war of words, with China warning against her visit and the U.S. refusing to budge. Listen in. This is very much um, precedent in the sense that uh, previous speakers visited Taiwan. Many members of Congress go uh, to Taiwan, including this year. Uh, and so if the speaker does decide to visit and China tries to um, create some kind of uh, crisis or otherwise escalate tensions, that would be entirely uh, on Beijing. Pelosi is reportedly expected to arrive in Taipei later today. This as the United States said that it would not be intimidated by China's saber rattling over the visit. According to reports, Pelosi's itinerary includes meeting with Taiwan President Tsai Ing-wen on Wednesday. Pelosi began her Asia tour from Singapore on Monday and is currently in Malaysia. Her office has said that she will also visit South Korea and Japan. However, a Taiwan visit has not been confirmed so far. We did notice several speculative news reports about whether the Speaker of the United States House of Representatives Nancy Pelosi is visiting Taiwan. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs is reiterating that it does not have the further information to share on this case and it is not commenting on it. Pelosi's possible visit would mark the highest level U.S. visit to Taipei in decades. The Biden administration has called on China not to escalate tensions while warning that Beijing may be positioning itself for a show of military strength around the island. This could include firing missiles near Taiwan or large-scale air or naval activities. There is no reason for Beijing to turn a potential visit consistent with long-standing U.S. policy into some sort of crisis or conflict or use it as a pretext to increase aggressive military activity in or around the Taiwan Strait. And yet, over the weekend, even before Speaker Pelosi arrived in the region, China conducted a live fire exercise. China, on the other hand, continues to warn the U.S. ahead of Pelosi's potential visit. Listen in. We will take strong and resolute measures to ensure our sovereignty and security interests. China's UN ambassador Zhang Jun said that Pelosi's visit to Taiwan would undermine China and the U.S. relationship. He further added that Taiwan's tendency towards independence could lead the situation even more out of control and warned of very dangerous consequences. We can see uh, such a visit is apparently very much dangerous, very much provocative. If the U.S. insists on the uh, 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 on making the visit, China will take firm and strong measures to safeguard our national sovereignty and territorial integrity. Uh, definitely, such a visit undermines the One China principle, uh, undermines China's sovereignty and the territorial integrity. It also undermines the uh, peace and the stability in the Taiwan Street. So if such a visit happens, it will also undermine the relationship between China and the United States. This is not the first time that China has issued a warning against Pelosi's Taiwan visit. Beijing, which views Taiwan as its territory, has reacted furiously to the idea. China has warned President Joe Biden that his administration was playing with fire and announced a series of live fire military drills in the Taiwan Strait in the backdrop of Pelosi's possible visit. This as Beijing has only made it clear that it will not sit idly by if she makes the trip. For more details, our correspondent Patrick Falk has sent us this report from Beijing. Let's listen in. Well, the Biden administration certainly wants to be seen to be consistent in its messaging on Taiwan, but it's important to outline as well that it isn't the White House's decision whether or not Nancy Pelosi goes there. One interesting thing to note is that last week in that, pres uh, that, that 
discussion that took place between President Biden and President Xi. President Xi talked about the one China principle being the bedrock for relations between uh, the U.S. and China, which you have to say it really isn't the case because the U.S. doesn't recognize the one China principle. It recognizes the one China policy, which essentially means that acknowledges that there is only one China, but it doesn't necessarily see that the People's Republic is the sole legitimate government of China, including Taiwan. And President Biden said specifically that the U.S. was committed to the one China policy and was against any altering of the status quo. And this is really what's at the heart of the matter and arguably the sort of principle behind Nancy Pelosi going there. This is to demonstrate its commitment uh, to that uh, policy. And as we heard National Security Advisor John Kirby say, Nancy Pelosi has a right to go there. There is no reason for China to escalate any sort of a crisis uh, when this is in line with long-standing U.S. policy or to use this as a pretext for further military aggression. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.